Hey, what's going on, guys? It's X17 Nocturnal again. Today, I'm going to show you uh, my UI again. Uh, this is the uh, third day I've had it. Well, technically, the second day, but uh, it's third day for me. Um, so, um, basically, just going to show you what I found, what I like, what I don't like about it, and uh, share the responses of it with a bunch of apps installed, um, what works, what don't work, and so on. Um, being that this is kind of like a uh, iPhone launcher, I just had to group of my icons with little folders because uh, I don't really like the uh, colorness in this ROM, so I made one for for applications. Um, and as you can see, I I really don't know if there's a limit on these folders. Like I know on uh, Sense, uh, you can only fit so many icons that fit actually in your screen. So once you fill the folder up for your screen size, yes, you're done. You can't fit them over this one. Um, scrolls, which is really nice. Uh, another thing I've noticed is um, that I like is the uh, the messaging app on this is really really nice. Um, it has a quick reply, which is really cool. Um, actually, I'll show you that right now. Let me send myself a text real real quick. Let's see here. Let's text myself using Google Google Voice for this. And there you go. Um, you can also, you know, quick reply to it. Just right from the menu there. You can be right from the home screen and and, uh, and just reply back. And your message is sent. You don't have to open the messaging app anymore. You know, you need to go here and do it all like that before. <clears throat> uh, another thing is um, speed. It's very, very fast. Um, there's it's running a stock kernel. I don't have it overclocked. As you can see, it's it's at the stock clock right there. Um, I do have it down clocked a little bit, um, and I have the gunner set to on demand. But that's about it. Camera. Uh, the camera this is a, basically it's the same as any other AOSP ROM. Um, you know, it's just a regular camera, nothing nothing fancy. Um, you can take a bunch of pictures. It's not that fast. It's not fast sense anyway. It's but it's not bad. You can't hold a button to take multiple pictures like you can the sense. Um, but yeah, you can turn on the burst mode, which I'll show you real quick what that is. Um, you can change the five shots, 10, 15, 20. So you do 20 up to 20 shots in burst mode. Um, I have my JPEG set to super, which is like a higher quality. Um, it has uh, rate reduction. We we'll turn that on. And um, okay, let's try let's try this out. Let's see how, how this works. There you go, if you burst mode. Um, landscape mode. There's no landscape in the home screen unless you change your launcher. Change the launcher, you can enable landscape. This one unfortunately does not have that, or I have not found a setting anyway. Um, launcher settings. There's a few options. You can change your layout. So you can you, know, you can make it uh, pretty wide, like you do that the six by eight. See how this works out. All right, so your six, your six by eight right there. Basically, it's made anything like crap. Um, so let's put back to half. Let's do four by five. Come on, all my recent apps are still open here. Well, I just reset my uh, folders, so there's one downside to it. Don't like that too much. Let's try some themes out, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and just pick a, I don't know. Let's pick this theme here and see how this looks. All right, so that's going down. That's going to take a little while to download. You can see I'm on Wi-Fi. I mean, um. You can go off Wi-Fi here, cause oh, it requires Wi-Fi. Okay then. Well, then I guess I'll turn Wi-Fi back on. 
Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, so that's downloaded. Uh, the music app I don't, I haven't used. I don't really like it. Um, it's pretty. Just the way it looks, just kind of bothers me. The way it's not, you know, it has these little squares here, but they're not uh, centered like they should be. Um, so I don't like that too much. So as you can see, it says searching for lyrics, but no lyrics found. No surprise there. <sighs> the gallery we showed you that on the installation video. There's all your pictures. Has screenshots. Uh, let me remind you, the battery, as you can see, is very low. That's another thing that this runs really good. Battery life on this is excellent. Um, I don't have nothing disabled, nothing tweaked. Um, so let me show you the battery on this so far, what I have for today anyway. I have uh, one day, six hours, 18 minutes on battery at 15%. As you can see, maps is a real, you know, real hog there, five hours of use. Um, of course, the screen, screen I have two hours and six minutes so far. Um, another thing I like is when you touch stuff, it makes sounds. So that's, uh, it's always cool. You can change those, you can turn on all, that's optional. Um, my application where we're great on this, Google Maps. Um, See how fast the GPS locks on this. Yeah, GPS locked right on. Nice. All right, so there's that. Um, I have the network connect installed, so I can check on the uh, LTE and everything on this phone. Apparently, there's no LTE options in here, but I'm told from someone else that LTE does work. So I don't know. I have not tested it myself, but that app doesn't work on. My way anyway. I like to crash a lot, so I can't get on the set and the stick. Um, <clears throat> I have about 40 applications installed on this phone so far. Um, everything seems to be working great. Works normal. Um, I haven't had no forced closes, no random reboots. Um, let me see. I can see what my uptime is. Uptime is on this thing so far. Um, well, of course, yeah, one day. But, um, let me see here. So there's your information there for your wake locks and all. Which is really good, you know. I mean, the Wi-Fi never turns off. So, that could probably help a little bit, you know, when your phone's idle maybe or something like that. Um, but, uh, it's, the drain on this is really, really pretty, pretty good. Yeah, it's very smooth, nothing crazy. Trying to get it done before the phone dies, I guess. Um, the email app I never used. It does come with an, uh, its own email exchange app. Um, I used enhanced email um, because I can transfer from the phone without having to set my accounts up all over again. Gmail, I did install a new Gmail, but I guess it got updated because I don't have to swipe to remove anymore. I don't have Zoom, pinch of Zoom, so your email will get updated. Um, Weather. People say the weather doesn't work or it works sometimes. It works. It just takes time to update, that's all. So just give it some time. Um, let's see. It's got some news in here in the weather app. We have uh, US news, sports, entertainment, and all that good stuff. I did install the Holo Launcher HD just because I want to try it out on the phone and see how smooth it was. It's actually, it lags a little bit on this on this ROM versus Sense and um, AOSP ROMs like uh, CM10 and PA. Uh, other than that, it's really nice. I mean, I like it, it's cleaner, but the my UI launcher is what comes with the phone, that's what I'm reviewing, so. <sighs> so I had all this stuff in folders, but I actually, you know, as you saw, I reset the, uh, the layout and it destroyed it. Let me see if I can fix that. I mean, that's on 4.4. That'd be fixed. I don't know. Um, transition effects. Let's do like, I don't know. Let's do a crossfade on this. Let's 
we can get the launcher to load back up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so four out of four is what I had. Um, so we my forward again. So I guess with each launcher layout you have, it uh, it saves your preferences for that for that layout, not for uh, you don't you don't don't carry over to a new one. That's fine. That's no big deal. Um, if you hold, long press or hold, you get options. So you can add your, your widgets you have. You know, whatever you want to add on here. Like, um, for example, I have my clock I have to add on here. You have to long press it. Drag it where you want to drag it. And there you go. I just wish... I don't know, I mean, with landscape on this would be pretty nice, I guess. Then again... The bottom bar might not fit properly. I don't know. I have to, I have to see. Um, I, I I'll even see it on a tablet. See how it looks compared to that. Um, what else can I show you? The contacts. Contacts are you know it shows all your contacts. Let me see if you can group these or not. Contact to display. Customize. Okay, so you can change the contacts to display only for your certain accounts. So I have two email accounts there. I can display for everyone to check. Um, like like on the music, you can scroll down, and it's all alphabetical order. Uh, the dollar is not too bad. So um, there's not really a lot to this ROM. It's just basically a different ROM. It's different from anything else. It's unique. Um, it's kind of iPhone-ish, but with the customization, the iPhone does not have. Let's see if that theme is there. Did that theme finish? I don't know if that theme finish or not. Let's see. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, so the theme's done. Let's go ahead and apply it. Okay, so it says apply. As you can see, the uh, colors at the top of my screen changed a little bit, they went to a gray. The icons at the bottom changed. Uh, let's see how the lock screen looks. And the lock screen's changed. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. You can see how it looks like it's kind of like... Like it's pushing the stuff out of the way. The folders change, how they look, the icons. It's all round now. It's pretty nice. Um, the contact, everything's pretty much gray, and it's got a little bubble around it, so that's pretty uh, pretty nice. You can also click on where you want to go and navigate in your contact app. Um, the icons change to blue. You got these little arrows down here now. Um, so this is one of thousands of themes for this thing. Um, and the good news is it works. Um, so I guess it's not. Before I know themes were only. Uh, meant for certain phones, but apparently uh, they fixed that. So this is working on a high definition screen, HDPI, I mean, I'm sorry, X HDPI icons, I'm assuming. Um, you get your toggles, they're in Chinese, not, not in English. Let's see if you can zoom in there. All right, well, I need zooming in. Let's see. Oh, there you go. So you see the toggles are in Chinese. Um, other than that, it's a really good ROM. I enjoy it. Um, I didn't use the camera that much because I'm a, a real big fan of the uh, the, uh, the Google camera. I'd rather have Sense camera, you know, being that our phone has a the nice chip in it for the camera, and this isn't really using that to its advantage. If it did, it will be... A great ROM to use as far as taking pictures. The ROM's pretty quick as far as uh, reboot goes. It's not too bad. The, I think the slowest thing on his phone is the uh, H boot coming up. Like, uh, oh man, I hit reboot. Wrong button. Let's do a normal reboot. Has a nice little shutdown animation. It's taking a little while. I guess it's closing the applications out.
Okay, we'll boot it back up. Um, another thing you notice is the lock screen slider changed colors. If you let it sit there. Yes, battery is low with 10% remaining. Um, so the boot up is not too bad. It's okay. So that's pretty much it for now. I can't think of anything else to show you. Um, all I can tell you this, it runs fast, it's great, stable, has not had one single reboot, um, has not had a crash besides, you know, certain applications like the networking application. If you want to try something different, I recommend this ROM. Um, there aren't no really, there aren't no really crazy tweaks out for it yet, but I'm sure as the ROM gains popularity, they will come. Um, so that's it for now. This is Access Magic with Team Eternal. If I uh, like this video and want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And uh, give us a thumbs up on Google+. Uh, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thank you.